house, a scary place, it's like standing in the dark. Why do the universe try to fix a broken heart? It's okay to let it go, you don't want to keep it forever. Take a chance if someone else is lost within the day. You don't have to face the tears as UNICEF, 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 United Nations Children's Emergency Fund, United Nations Children's Urgency Fund, I mean, no, 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 United Nations Children's Emergency Fund, United, ugh. What are you doing? I'm trying to memorize the full form of UNICEF, which is proving to be quite a difficult task, as I don't even know what it means. Well then, I have just the thing for you. The students of 9D are filming a documentary on the topic UNICEF Day. It's instructional and once you're done, I doubt you'll face any hardship in memorizing the full form. Let's go! seen children begging on the streets. The United Nations International Emergency Fund is a large agency responsible for providing humanitarian and development aid to children worldwide. Its headquarters are located in New York and its activities include immunization and disease prevention, administering treatment for children and mothers worldwide. UNICEF is the successor of the International Children's Emergency Fund, ICEF, created in 1946. Its programs emphasize on developing community-level services to promote health and well-being of children. The UNICEF works to bring clean water and basic sanitation and hygiene facilities to homes, schools and health centers so that children can grow and learn in a safe environment. I can assure you it's not an easy task. The organization was founded in 1946 to help protect children after the Second World War, mainly helping starving and ill children and mothers who live in war torn or destroyed regions in Europe, China, and the Middle East. Now, the organization works to protect children all around the world. They provide food, clothes and medicines to children living in areas where there are wars or disease outbreaks such as the Ebola or Zika virus. But do you know what I never managed to understand? What the UNICEF logo means? Excellent question. UNICEF's first logo featured a child drinking a cup of milk which reflected the organization's main activity at the time, delivering milk to children. This logo retained some elements of the UN logo on which it is based, such as the olive branches and globe in the background. But it doesn't end there. Then came the 1960s, a child drinking milk redesigned as a mother lifting up a child. Its evolution included dotting the eyes, simplifying the image and rendering a colored version from our trusty black and white. Before this, what we have today. Modularity is a key component of this new logo. For every child, this is the first half of the proclamation. The second half includes words that showcase the scope of UNICEF's work. For example, for every child, hope. For every child, opportunity. And for every child, dignity. This logo enables us to highlight the challenges children face, as well as the hopes we have for them and embodies the organization's mission to give the greatest priority to the most disadvantaged children. Hats off to the creator, truly, to capture the essence of such a cause in the most poignant of symbols. It's an art. I do wish to make such an impact, after I'm done with my remarkable anime drawings, of course. 
Well, this is all jolly good. But here is what everyone is wondering. Why? Why are the NGOs not enough? Why is this not resolved? UNICEF wants to create a more equal world, a better world for all children. There are too many poor children, those who are ill and hungry, and those that would love to go to school but cannot due to wars or conflicts. Sometimes children are not allowed to go to school simply because they are girls. UNICEF works hard to support all boys and girls. However, if the world does not change, neither will the future. The Girl Child Project was initiated on an experimental basis in 1991 by the UNICEF. What began as a pilot project in 10 locations has evolved four phases and 10 years later into a model project guided and supported by the UNICEF. To date, it has been replicated in more than 300 village and city locations. This project was launched to address the needs of adolescent girls between the ages of 11 to 18 years from rural and urban low-income families. More specifically, it aims to raise awareness about the situation of girls and young women in families and communities. We all may find a mosquito buzzing near our ear annoying, but we also know how they are responsible for spreading many deadly diseases. UNICEF distributes mosquito nets and medicines to curb the spread of malaria and dengue. They promote and educate people regions far away from towns and hospitals about clean water, safe hygiene and medical care. They also send emergency help and life-saving food to regions that are stricken with disease or war, plagues or unhappiness. 11th December has been officially recognized as UNICEF Day to celebrate the UNICEF aims of the country programmed to promote the equal rights of all women and children and to support their full participation in political, social and economic organization development of their communities. We celebrate the becoming of this great organization on this particular day with which all of this wouldn't be a possibility. UNICEF is supported by donations of governments, charities and foundations and private persons. The global organization has a network of 36 national committees. Of these, UNICEF USA is the oldest organization. They work with many partners and volunteers as they need to collect big amounts of money to help many children in danger or in need. Therefore, they run fundraising drives to collect big amounts of money that they then give to disaster relief projects, medical care and educational programs. Every day, thousands of children will die from diseases that are easy to prevent. Thousands more will die because they don't have the food they need to live and grow. And yet more will experience violence, crime and war. Millions of children around the world are in danger. Every day, every hour there is a young girl who dares to dream on the roads of New York or a boy fixing clocks for 10 cents a spin with the mind that of an adult. And yet with those words, those actions and those agendas, we are not far off, and with your help, we will never be. A very happy UNICEF Day. The cause of making the world a better place for children unites us all. So, that's it. What do you think? Well, it's certainly been a long time since I've been so absorbed in something. This has certainly changed my perspective of the world and my position in it. But unless I have something to contribute, there are little ways for me to help. Of course there are. Not wasting the food on your plate can feed the hungry newborn. Or turning the tap off while brushing can help clean the boy with no water to his own. All those old textbooks at the end of each school year, instead of pawning them off, find someone who would consider it a blessing. 
In these small subtle ways, you'd be surprised at the amount of change you can make. You are absolutely right. By doing our part, we can make the job of the United Nations Children's Emergency Fund much easier, can't we? Ah, uh, you were right. No longer difficult to remember the name. No longer difficult at all. La 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 la